Rwanda is a uniquely beautiful mountainous country that stands at the divide between East and Central Africa. From here, surrounded by unique and magnificent biodiversity, within the largest mountainous forest in the Albertine Rift, flow the headwaters of the White Nile to the east and the Congo River to the west. Recent history in Rwanda has not always been kind. But from profound suffering and sadness, Rwandans are now striving to ensure the future will be peaceful and sustainable. We believe that the responsibility of each nation to find the best ways to adapt, to adjust, to find solutions that uh, uh, don't compromise the sustainable development we are looking for. The government of Rwanda has created results-based indicators and targets aligned with the Millennium Development Goals, including the Rwanda Vision 2020 and the Economic Development and Poverty Reduction Strategy. Environment is uh, closely related to poverty because when you don't manage well the natural resources, at the end of the day, the poorest are the most affected. Today, we around 86% of the Rwandans use wood as their energy. And we want to reduce that to at least uh, maximum 50% by the year 2020. By carefully stating national aims, the government of Rwanda has for many years provided an integrated policy that stresses sustainable development. Building on its long-term core strategies, Rwanda has continued to develop additional innovative green economic initiatives. And this is what we chose as Rwanda as we decided to, uh, to elaborate the, the, our national strategy on climate change and low carbon development. One area that is getting specific attention is energy. We have an, a target of increasing our electricity generation. Today we are at uh, about 97 megawatts, and we want to increase that to 1,000 megawatts uh, in the next eight years. Uh, and we are targeting that about 80% or so of that source of energy should be renewable energy, mainly from hydropower uh, electricity and from geothermal. So from 2014, we want to be producing any electricity from fossil fuels. A number of initiatives have responded to a growing understanding of the relationship between ecological function and human-induced climate change, including the Rwanda Land Use Master Plan and the Rwanda Forest and Landscape Restoration Initiative. There are two major undertakings that we have within our institution one which was the development of the National Land Use Master Plan. The other major program is the land registration program. We also believe that uh, with the registration of land, people get security of tenure. From the results we've got from the pilot, there's a positive indication that with a secure tenure, people are able to invest more and care better for their land. We are giving ourselves maybe three years of growth so that by 2020 we have 30% of actually forested area. So there's now really an aggressive campaign across the country to restore destroyed forests. There has been a lot of restoration that has been carried out uh, relating to our environment. And we've seen that restoration grow from year to another year. The programs go far beyond traditional reforestation to address degradation from a diverse landscape perspective. We are moving to about 85% of our farming systems to be in agroforestry systems. Reason being that we want to stabilize the terraces, the hill slopes, so that we minimize the erosion. I believe we will continue in this manner we are definitely going to have a stable environment, stable ecosystem, and subsequently 
a stable water system and also the agricultural systems. Because as individual smallholders, they have no hope of accessing markets at all. So we've, we, we took up the policy of land consolidation to ensure that. And we've been successful at that. It, we started it four years ago, and we, have, we, we as Rwanda now, today we are very proud to say we are food secure. These actions and national priorities have been further captured in the national strategy on green growth and climate resilience. Linking economic development together with protecting and restoring the ecological function of the land has provided many enviable outcomes. We've been growing at an average of 8.2%. And we've seen more than 1 million people of population lifted out of poverty in the last five years. That's 12% of our, of our population. And we've achieved this within this mode of growth that caters for environment as well. There is growing recognition that Rwandan domestic policies and international efforts to mitigate and adapt to climate change, to protect biodiversity, to ensure food security, and to develop transparent, effective, and fair governance systems are in alignment. So how can we uh, finance, how can we manage sustainably our resources? In order to further facilitate Rwandan and international efforts, toward integrated sustainable development, Rwanda has initiated the National Fund for Environment and Climate Change. The purpose of this fund is to help us to make sure that we are dealing with climate change impact. So there is, we have uh, already established uh, some windows, one window for environmental management, another one for mitigation issues, another one promotion of private sector. Rwanda has emerged from hardship and suffering to realize that its future is determined by its ecological function and the sustainability of its development. You can't think of having uh, wealth when the environment is totally uh, polluted. When you look where we used to be in 94, where Rwanda actually was no longer on the map, and where we are today, we have done progress, but we think it is not yet enough. The government of Rwanda has also learned not to wait for international projects to act, but is ready when international efforts want to join in Rwandan national initiatives to make very significant progress. By different institutions coming in to help with their variable resources, Rwanda could do more, much more, and benefit much more, but so would other countries if such a partnerships and support were provided. We can grow, we can grow at higher rates, and we can achieve that in an environmentally friendly manner. Preserving our environment, managing properly issues relating to climate change is really everybody's business should involve everybody. If it works here in Rwanda, it can work anywhere else.